The Saramonic Blink Me B2 is one of the more interesting wireless lav mic systems I've tested recently. What makes it a bit special is that it's all about touchscreens and magnets. You get two wireless mics, which both attach to the receiver magnetically. As soon as you remove a mic, both it and the receiver turn on automatically and start transmitting. In place of the mic you just removed, you drop in this cold shoe and that attaches to your camera. The mic attaches to your shirt using one of these little magnetic discs. Or you can use one of these clips if you prefer. So it's quite a clever and elegant system and very quick to set up for a recording session. The displays can be turned off before or during recording so that they don't stand out too much. So this is an audio test of the Saramonic Blink Me microphone system in a quiet room. And I've got the gain on both the transmitter and the receiver set to the maximum. And for comparison, here's what the audio sounds like just recording with the microphones built into my camera. This time let's try it outside. Got the wind muff on, and there's the birds tweeting and the wind blowing and the leaves rustling. Let's see how this sounds. Maybe I'll switch back to my camera and compare. This is the audio from the Insta360 GO 3, and it's really windy. And this is the audio from the Saramonic, and it's still really windy. I'm riding my bike on a really windy day to see how well the wind muff works on this thing. And also to compare the audio of my camera's onboard mics to the audio of this. Now I am on a bridge that goes over a busy motorway packed with traffic. Let's see if the audio picks up my voice pretty clearly over the noise of all the traffic. The mics have large color touchscreens and a fairly straightforward interface, but I find it to be quite laggy, enough that it bothers me. But I can live with it. I just wish they could have made it more smooth and snappy. The receiver also has a color touchscreen, though it's much more simple, but it lets you see the important details like battery life, signal strength, and recording levels. It also offers some ability to control the mics remotely. The two mics can be used as individual mono lav mics, or combined for a stereo recording. A really useful feature that I always like to see on mics like this is the safety track. When this is turned on, each mic will record two audio tracks, one at the level you've set and the other at a reduced level. So if your talent gets loud and the main track clips, you have that lower one as a damage-free backup. It's a really great feature to have and it can completely save what would otherwise be a ruined recording. It comes with an assortment of magnetic mounts and two little wind muffs that work really well. For me, one of the best features, and the reason I ordered it, is that each mic features onboard audio recording. You can throw just the mic into your pocket, leave the receiver at home, and go out and record your audio directly into the mic. And this will get you much better audio than you can capture on your phone or your action camera. It's also a great way to have a backup of your audio should something go wrong on the camera side when using it with the receiver. You see, this is what I'm talking about. I can come out here with this tiny thumb size camera and this tiny microphone. No cables, no accessories, no adapters, just onboard memory. Absolutely amazing. There's a lot to like about this mic system. The way it mounts to clothing magnetically is really cool, and the color touchscreens are nice for changing settings. But the laggy interface still annoys me a bit sometimes. The downside of the large displays is that they're very reflective, which might be distracting for the viewer. Unlike some other mic systems which let you put the main mic in your pocket or a clip to your belt and then plug a lav mic in for a more neat aesthetic, there's no such option for that with these. If that's not an issue for you, this is a great mic set and the onboard recording feature is my favourite thing about it. I find the audio quality to be quite good and the battery life to be far longer than I would ever need. So this one gets a pretty big thumbs up from me and if you find this useful or interesting, I'd appreciate a thumbs up from you. Thanks for tuning in. See you next time.